Welcome to this episode of Lead Different, where we're going to begin the discussion of a couple of key principles that can help us make our most difficult interactions more effective. Now we're going to deal with a little bit of neuroscience and learn how our brains are hardwired. And we're going to learn a tool from psychology that deals with ego states that we all possess. Now, if you've already begun to learn how to adopt the Level 5 leadership model, become more humble, to lead with questions, to actively build trust, if you've put time and effort into first two and get the right people in the right seats, you've already done an awful lot to be able to have the most challenging discussions. That's whether we want to have vigorous debate and dialogue in search of the truth, being able to confront our brutal facts, or whether we have to have difficult uh, feedback discussions. Uh, If you haven't put a lot of effort or made much progress in those, these principles can still help you. And so we'll begin with this conversation on the neuroscience, and it deals with this concept of the amygdala hijack. And this is when our primitive brain can get in the way. And there's a couple of key regions that we need to understand about our brains, the frontal part of our brain, the neocortex, where we have rational thought, logic, and judgment taking place. And then the amygdala, which is kind of the primitive brain, which is really linked to our survival instincts. And it's really located right at the top of the spinal column to really allow us to have quick thinking when we need it. Now, when we perceive a threat, what happens here is the neocortex, that reasoning part of our brain, it shuts down. It gets less blood flow. And the amygdala goes on high alert. We begin fight or flight math. You've probably seen somebody go into this at some point or another. And all rational thinking really gets lost or diminished at that point in time. Everything that we take in begins to get filtered through the lens of whether it's dangerous or not. Now, it's intended for us to have this happen when we perceive a real threat to our existence or survival. There's a tiger in the room. And you can imagine this gets triggered in our business interactions. And we seldom have these sort of life or death situations taking place. And when it gets triggered, it's often at a time where we really need to have rational thinking. And you can see where this might short circuit our ability to be effective in these situations. Have you ever felt caught off guard when somebody gave you some feedback or asked a tough question? Or maybe you've been frustrated by a discussion and let it get the best of you. You maybe even feel like that anger uh, really put that amygdala on high alert if you think about it. Maybe you've uh, asked your team an important question and been stunned or frustrated by the level of silence that's there. Or if you've ever had to engage in a difficult discussion and felt like it got emotional and you just talked past one another. Maybe you see other people get stuck in a, in a conflict loop. They get Again, they're talking past one another. They really make no progress, get a lot of energy out. These are signs that the amygdala hijack has taken over. Now... A transactional analysis is something that can help us even understand and recognize when this could happen, when we're in a situation that this hijack could take place. It kind of looks at the mechanics of how interactions can go wrong. and It puts them in the context of some ego states I think you'll be able to identify with. When we're able to recognize these moments, we can learn how to mitigate them. In fact, we can catch ourselves in the middle of an event. We can actually look ahead and plan when we know we're going to be in a difficult situation or a situation that might be fraught with uh, some danger for us, make us ineffective, and it can allow us to prepare in a way that we can stay in a calm state of mind and avoid that amygdala hijack. So I hope you tune into the next episode where we're going to dive into this ego state model and, and see if we can learn how to manage our emotions and stop that fight or flight math from taking place when we don't need it.